Okay, guys, this is the last of the try on for the May Stitch Fix. I'm going to try to figure out if I can figure out how to combine all the videos. I don't know how to do any of that yet. My daughter said she'll help me at some point. Maybe I can figure it out today. Otherwise, I just might post them as, with separate things. I don't know. So this is the last top I got. Um, it is a medium, and it is too big. It just is. Honestly, it's too big. Uh, I do like these wide straps. I do like the drop shoulder, the off the shoulder thing, but a little different look with the ruffle. I think that's very, very pretty. Um, it is lined. So that's lovely. Okay, that's what I like. I didn't ask for prints. I've been very clear on my thing. I really only like, if you're going to do a flower print, I would like it to be white roses. This is at least two to three different flower prints. Too large, because I've asked for tiny prints. But if it was roses, I would be willing to go bigger. Because I don't like looking like a tablecloth or um, shorter, wider, because of a... a a print that just doesn't work for my body type and my size and all that other stuff. Okay, so um, they are, they're they're pretty and they might look nice on somebody else. And I also have said very specifically um, that I love dragonflies. These are butterflies. So um, yeah, if they were white roses and dragonflies, I could overlook the fact that even though on the invoice it says red, this is about as orange of a red as you can get. And I have said no orange especially bright orange you know because my husband doesn't like it and I don't look good in it anyway I don't think if I had a little deeper skin tone I would could probably pull off this I can pull off reds purples greens blues like almost every color there's some beiges that kind of uh pale me out and uh I don't like this color on me and my husband, I was so clear about colors and patterns and sizes and what type of flowers that I'd be willing to have a print on because I'm not big on a lot of prints. And they sent me three flowers, floral things. Everything was a size medium, except for the jeans, which are the same size they sent me last time. I have the white jeans on this time that they did send me with my first stitch fix. And they sent me an identical pair in like denim blue, which I asked for a bright color. So, um, and the other thing is, as you can see, it, it comes down a little bit. I, it's okay. It's not very pretty. It, it's, it's okay. It's better than being straight across. But look at this side view. I have a slightly padded bra on, and I'm like a 36C. But, um... I feel like I look like a tent, and uh, somebody could be like, so what do you do? Ew. That's just, you know, the only thing I can say is they go with these white jeans that they sent me last time. But they're, I, I don't want to repeat myself. I'm afraid I might have. But um, they sent me all mediums, and I had, you know, I am a small, usually, and I don't mind wearing a medium if that's what works. The last and only other stitch fix, they did send me mediums and everything. Um, and it was the right choice. Um, so I was like, oh, okay. So they're measuring. They're remembering my measurements and what I've said about stretch and this and that and the other thing. And so I was fine with it. And they were right. Uh, Nicole was right, whoever. Uh, but this time, they sent me all mediums. And they're too big. I mean, it's just, it feels, I feel sloppy. I feel like I'd constantly be like, ah. And the romper is just really ugly. And I would never wear a romper. Well, I shouldn't say never, but I would not ask for a romper uh, at all. I didn't, and I wouldn't. I wanted a black jumpsuit. They gave me a floral romper. It feels way too big, ugly. Well, I'm repeating myself, but everything was too big. Everything was exactly uh, as far as floral patterns that I would not ask for. And the one shirt I do like, I wanted it in a blue and white pinstripe. They sent it to me in black, and it is beautiful, but it's too big. I like it gapes here, like I said. Oh, my God, I'm repeating myself. I think this is a frustration thing. Plus, I know I talk a lot. 
Okay. Ugh. So everything was $230. If I bought everything, there'd be $57.50 taken off, which would be 25%. And last time I bought everything, I wasn't sure I was going to, but I liked it. Everything. So that if I did buy everything, it would be one seventy two fifty instead of two thirty, and then um, with the credits that I have, I had a hundred dollars in credit overall. It would come to seventy two fifty, <laughs> but I don't like anything. If this was, if this was like a real red background, I would probably deal with this print that's not really what I want because it does look good with the white jeans or you know I'd try to be open-minded or if it was any other color or if it was this color but it was white flowers and dragonflies you know like I would probably keep it but it's a lot of money it's $54 and then the button down top which was uh the pinstripe that I wanted in the other shirt with these uh navy dark flower print over top of it. Again, the wrong flowers and the wrong color. Um, that was $36. Um, the tie back blouse, which I did ask for, but in the pinstripe and I got it in the black and it's way too big anyway. I do like black. It can look good and it looked really good in that thing. It's too big though. That's $38. If it was a small and I was going to buy everything, I would, even if I wasn't going to buy everything, I'd probably pay, pay $38 for that black top, especially since I have some credit, but it's the wrong size. The Jess USA jeans, I think it's the same exact uh, one, Darcy Frayhem crop skinny jean. I got it in white last time. They sent it in blue in a size six. I asked for a bright color, distressed jean. I have too many blue denim distressed jeans. I don't really need another pair. If I was going to buy everything, I would probably buy them because they do fit great and they're really well done. I love them. $58, I, you know, not, not unless I was going to get the full discount. And then the Jersey romper, um, they call it black in this description, but that was not black, barely black, big, some kind of flower all over it. It feels pajama, like pajama material, like a thick, thick, medium weight pajama material is what it felt like. Very comfy to walk around in, like if I was going to just hang out in my house forever. But I wouldn't want anyone to see it and see me on it, in it. I really hated it. That was a size medium. If it was a small, then um, maybe I would have given it a little more consideration but like I can kind of figure out what it would look like as a small on me and I still think I would have hated it because uh, it just it was too big and loud with those flowers I'm too short and because I'm more on the curvy side than not I just felt like it made me look short and dumpy and not flattering at all that was that romper is $44 so this is um, really thumbs down all the way the only definite thing is those jeans, but I didn't need another blue denim, and I was very clear about that. I asked for a jean skirt. I asked for a black uh, jumpsuit, like with either a pretty back detail or, or front detail. Um, I asked for colored jeans. I, I was open to some summer shirts. I didn't ask for them. What I did ask for was um, sundresses and or shirts that had a built-in bra. That's what I asked for, um, and I didn't get anything I asked for, and I pinned, I don't even know how many pins, but I pinned a lot of stuff, and I pinned stuff off of other people's current stitch fix things, so I knew that, you know, stitch fix people could get them, or what, maybe they're a stitch fix exclusive, and somehow with all the pins that I pinned to my style board, I got nothing. And even if I didn't get anything that I pinned, um, I felt like everything that I've written and filled out on my surveys was just not listened to from sizes to color preferences to um, prints. So I don't like being negative.
and being so disappointed that I am. Bad. Now I gotta do my little online survey and get the stuff in the mail. And I guess I'm gonna be doing a third stitch. I thought I was gonna be doing this for a long time, but this is so disappointing. I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point, but I will sign up for another stitch fix since I have all this credit that I have to use and I'm not gonna waste it on all this stuff. So, cheers. Uh, sorry that, no, I'm not sorry. That's the end. Better, better uh, things next time, I'm sure. Okay. Mwah.